I was talking to a friend. I told him that because I've seen some, um, some same things in the Quran say this is almost like the Bible, but they say no. We yeah, some yeah, that. he's told he's told many things. We don't know actually who is the one who's told them because Muhammad maybe is not the one who put those in the Quran. We don't know. But when we debate Muslims, we debate them about what they believe. Is there something that can take you from Islam? Because all my friends here they call themselves Muslims, but like they are far from the religion. But there's nobody there's nobody far there's nobody far from the religion because a Muslim is someone who cheat, someone who lie someone who fornicate, someone who do all kind of faith, and that what make him Muslim. That's why Allah, he said, or Muhammad said, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you and replace you with people who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. So, can you give me uh, the Hadith, please, or the Quran verse, so I can um, show this to my yeah. friends? Thank you. So Muslims, when they are doing everything wrong, they are practicing the core of Islam. And let me show you the reference. That's why Muslims, they like Islam, because simply, in Islam, you can do all kind of faith, and still, you are a good person. Or what you need to do, at the end of the day, you say, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, or clean your nose with water, and the sin will drop out. So here it says, and this is a Sahih Muslim, the Muslim, they cannot say this is weak, you know, as you see, this is all is Sahih. It says it clearly that if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you and will replace you uh, with people who commit sin. By him in, my, in, in whose hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah. So all what required from a Muslim is not to, not to commit sin. No. Is to commit sin. Is the opposite. To commit sin and ask for forgiveness. In fact, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. Which means... At the same time, they have to look for Hassanat, right? So it doesn't make any sense it, to get in heaven. We have to look for what? They have, they have to look for Hassanat. Um, no, 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 no. Just ask for forgiveness. All the all the rest is not important. All the rest, as you see, just ask for forgiveness. Commit sin. Allah, He is a, a mentally ill person. He enjoy people committing sin and begging Him. It's like somebody he he, he torture his dog. He make him hungry. In order to control the dog, you know, to make the dog obedience. So he, he abused the dog uh, just for the sake of feeling that he is a master. And this is what Allah is about. He treats so, Muslims like dogs and he abused them if they don't commit sin. So you commit sin, you are doing fine with me. And now you, you as a dog, you have to beg for forgiveness. And uh, there is many solutions for sin in Islam. You do not need to do this actually. There's a solution, like you can say, 100 times, uh, Bismillahi wa bihamdihi. If you say that, all your sin is gone. Or, if you wash your nose three times, your mouth three times, your hand three times, all your sin is gone. So it's easy, Islam is an easy teasy religion. There's no religion in the religion. So Allah is not real, it's an imagination, it's a creation of Muhammad, right? No, Allah is not real, but not the creation of Muhammad. Allah has exist for previous religions. The true name is al La. La is the name of the moon god. Al is a word meaning God. Muhammad did not create the name. The name is exist for centuries and centuries before Islam. Muhammad, he just continued worshipping the same god of the pagan Arab and non-Arab before him. Sad, I will give you, I will give you, I will give you some time to think about the question. Before you go, I'm going to show you this hadith. Okay. According to your prophet, he says, by the one whose hand my soul, swearing by Allah, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would replace you with people who commit sin and then seek forgiveness. So what, why Allah will destroy us if we don't commit sin? Sad, what do you think? 
What's wrong with this God? He's unhappy. He's unsatisfied. And my soul is where you are not commit. Uh, will you not commit sins? Allah will replace you with the people who would commit sins and then seek forgiveness from Allah, and then Allah would forgive them. Hmm. So you would forgive them. Yeah, this is this is what you care for now. You don't care. You don't care. You don't. You don't care. You don't care for the evil. The evil. He just said something evil. He just said, if you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. This is evil. So now he is saying, you better do sin and beg for forgiveness. Otherwise, you're bad. That is the most stupid thing ever. So imagine we have one thousand men and women. They are so beautiful, nice, kind people to each other. They never commit sin. The man, he sleep with his wife only. The wife, she sleep only with the husband. The man never lie. The wife never lie. The man, he never cheat. The man never steal. The woman, she never do anything wrong. And now, perfect people, amazing. Allah will destroy them. What kind of God this God is? I thought, if you do bad, he will be punished for the bad. Muhammad is saying to us, who is Allah? And this will summarize all our video today. Allah is a scumbag. He is an yeah. eco. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a person, selfish. He just wants to see people begging, please, Allah, please forgive me, please. Even if you don't do wrong, you will, you will not beg for forgiveness. He's bored. He's abusing us. We are just like toys for him. He needs yeah. us to commit sin so he can be happy. You don't commit sin, Allah is upset. That means Allah is the devil. Our God is the opposite. If you do wrong, God will destroy you. If you do wrong, here, the opposite. If you do good, I swear by Allah, Allah will destroy you all. And he will bring a bunch of scumbags, pimps, hookers, drug dealers, Rapist, child molesters, all what they need to do, make a city and do all kind of ugly stuff and then beg Allah for forgiveness. The story is over. See you next time, Saad. All right? All right thank you. Take thank care. You, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Did we summarize to you guys what Allah is? Do we agree that Allah is the devil? The truth about Allah. Allah is evil. Allah is someone opposing our God a billion percent, not 100 percent. Muhammad, he copies stories from the Old Testament and from the New Testament, but those oppose what he is saying. Why why God punish people who people of Noah then? Or just because they did not ask for forgiveness? Maybe they did not do good then, they did not do bad. Is that why he destroyed them? Muhammad is a person who is really sick. He's encouraging his people to do sin. Just ask for forgiveness. And he blinded them with tons of rituals. Go around the Kaaba, touch the black stone, kiss the black stone, swearing by Allah that whoever kissed the black stone and touched the Yemeni corner, Allah will erase his sin for touching stones. You see how easy it is? Go, 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 do anything you want. Just say 100 times, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, 100 times. Each time you say it, Allah will give you 1,000 deed. Erase your sin. Look how easy it is.